And I realized like I never really made it clear about my future career. Go to sleep last night, I just felt so uneasy and just scared. And is this the end of Jenna's dating chronicles? Oh my god. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me. Okay, it is so funny that I'm starting my video like this because this is how I've started my videos. Like, I don't know, dozens of times, probably upwards of like 50 times, just in my makeup chair, getting ready. But in the past, I was getting ready at two o'clock in the morning. And do you guys see this? The sun is out. I am getting ready. Oh, what time is it? 5.16 p.m. PM. I said that weird am, which for the record, I'm just doing touch ups now because I'm living this new life where I get ready in the morning and then I actually have the energy and the time to do things at night. And I have an event that I'll be explaining in a second that I'm going to tonight. So this just feels so weird. And just to put things into context, this is day two after I quit my TV news reporting job. So I know like uploading videos, I feel like I have videos going up like here and there and like it's kind of a mess right now, just catching you guys up to speed on my life. Like as I'm filming this, I haven't even posted my announcement that Zach and I are traveling the country. So that's crazy. If you're new here, hey, I just quit my TV news reporting job and now I'm traveling the country. <laughs> but yeah, it is just the second day of this new life of mine, which Technically, it hasn't even started yet because I told myself I am going to let myself sleep in for the rest of this week. I worked on Monday, Tuesday is my last day, and then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm sleeping in. And when I say sleep in, for example, I've been waking up at like 7.15, 7.20 a.m. So it's not like I'm like sleeping in till like 10 a.m. or something, but I'm not setting an alarm and I'm not being like super strict with like a schedule or anything just because I need like a break. I just need sleep. That's that's what I need. I need sleep. And it feels so freaking good to get it. And tonight, I, on a Thursday night, this is like monumental in my old life. This would never happen. But on a Thursday night, I'm going to an event. I have my outfit all laid out on my bed. Can you tell I'm excited to be a normal person? Okay, I changed out the jacket and I wonder if I will ever actually end up wearing the outfit that I pick out before I get ready. Like I always change out something. Like there's always something that just doesn't look right. But yeah, this is the fit for tonight. I'm sorry guys, the pants are from Shein. Before I found out that Shein is like a shady company. I mean, there's nothing I could do now. I bought them, so yeah. But jacket, Abercrombie and Fitch. Tank top, Abercrombie and Fitch. And the shoes are DSW. Okay, but the real outfit of the day is this right here. <laughs> Zach is just like, I don't even know. He's just taking it away. What am I supposed to say what I'm wearing? I, I heard you out here like, this is from DSW. I mean, my fashion sense is always a little bit better than yours. I'm like, with the times and you're like, so 2018. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I would let Zach explain the event we are going to tonight because fun fact, he is actually the one who got invited. I'm sure a lot of you guys were thinking like, oh, that's nice, Clancy's taking Zach to an event, but no. Other way around, he's Mr. Popular over here, and it's actually really cool. It's my relationships, but I think they probably are more excited to have you showing up than me. Are you kidding me wearing Miss, that shirt? Miss, They're gonna be delighted to see you. Miss Internet Girl, long story short, a guy that I went to high school with, works for a digital agency it's called rooted creative downtown they work with like sports to like fc cincinnati they do like commercials for like beer companies and whatnot i'm not sure if this is one of their companies or a client so it's called canvas it's a new like canned drink so like a seltzers type of drinks that's very popular these days i think they have vodka drinks and bourbon drinks so it's a promotional party for them which will be cool to like obviously try it and get to learn a little bit more about this company. They're good people. They like to be community-based Cincinnati stuff, so it's always good to support them. And actually, let me get the, the cards. If you guys remember in the engagement story, how Zach had a photographer at our engagement spot, and like, I didn't know anything was happening. It's pitch black, and all I hear is, it's just like, I see kind of like a flash in the distance, and I just hear Zach go, say hi to Patty, and Patty was the photographer who was like in the bushes. I don't really know where she was. She was out of sight, so that's for her, and then Josh as well, just some gift cards. I, as you guys know, I'm a vodka gal, so I'm excited to see what the heck. I, we were really like walking in, like not knowing what this is, but we're excited. <laughs> Kind of strange. 
change, I can take a beat Find my better self, it's like no one else even really scratches the side. Hi guys, and happy Friday! Even though this, obviously, this, this whole work week has just been weird. This is not a normal work week for me, and yeah, this has just been crazy, but I decided why not come to the pool to do my work today because I can, like I can uh, edit and do that wherever. And actually I'll show you guys, this is what we call the garage at our apartment complex. Let me actually get up and stop being lazy and show you guys. It's really neat, they have like this little kitchen area. Uh, you could put stuff in the fridge. Then we have some seating and I really like this when it's like too hot or I've gotten too much sun, but I still wanna be like out and just with everyone i will sometimes come in here and then this is the pool it is the smaller pool at our complex but i really like this one i feel like we kind of call it the party pool but on a friday it's obviously super chill last night i actually slept terribly and i don't know how much i want to get into with this but basically zach has just not been feeling well lately he i mean maybe we can just I'll, i can talk to him about it later and like see how much he wants to say but he just has not been feeling well like his chest his back his head like we had to leave that event last night early because he was getting a just crazy migraine which is very much so not like zach so going to sleep last night i just felt so uneasy and just scared of i don't know what could happen and i don't know i just was thinking of all the worst case scenarios so like i feel like i was just waking up like every 20 minutes and then i was up for like around an hour and a half this morning from three to like 4 30. i think it's just like my clock is like so confused like today's friday you should be getting up like what are you doing because obviously i'm so used to getting up so early on the weekdays but yeah that was kind of miserable i was just laying there and then finally i was like let me just scroll on my phone and that's always that's always a mistake so that was not good but he went to the doctor this morning he took a second day from work which he like never does working from home just because he always is like yeah i could you know push through but he took a sick day, went to the doctor, and they took blood work, so I guess we'll see, but health stuff is just always super scary. My mission for today, though, is I want to finish editing this vlog, which you guys are probably like, what? We saw that forever ago. This is our big announcement of exactly what we're doing. I did like a rough cut for edit, and now I need to like go through it all again, and I need to do the thumbnail for that and upload it because I'm so last minute. I normally like being like so ahead of things, but today's Friday and that video is going up tomorrow morning, which like stresses me out. I'm like, what the heck? I need to get this done. So that's what I'm doing. Nobody gets, nobody gets, nobody gets. Okay, I'm sitting here cracking up. I just finished editing the video and now it's time to choose a thumbnail, which I had Zach and I pose for a few. And like this is the Zach I know and love. His normal smile, but I guess like he gets fatigued because we kind of pose for a while in a few poses. So like, what? Why does he look like sick there? Like he looks like he's struggling. He's like, that's just not, that's just not Zach. It's just not him. Okay guys, breaking news, developing situation. I just finished my work for the morning afternoon. Really happy about that. Jenna is at our other pool, which I, you guys know we have like the small pool, that's where I'm coming from. Then we have the big pool and she's with her new boyfriend. So if any of you guys have been following the Jenna Love story to recap, Jenna is one of my really good friends. She is another reporter at Local 12. I guess I can't even say another because I'm not a reporter, but she's a reporter at Local 12. And we have been following her quest to find love here on the YouTube channel because she has met some uh, promising young men. She's probably dated more men in, I don't know, a month than I've dated in my life. But she meets great guys, but then they end up not being so great. It's just, it's never good, but she has a boyfriend, okay? And the way that they met is insane. No, it's not on a dating app or any of the traditional ways you might think. So we are gonna grill him, we're gonna meet him. I have not met him. This is all very new, by the way. I think they like, I think they just started dating. I don't even know, but we're we're gonna, we're gonna investigate. I might not be a reporter anymore, but I still like to investigate. I'd rather investigate things like this than shootings. Guys, we are here. I'm with Jenna and not just Jenna, I'm doing a little slow pan. Ah, her boyfriend! And you have to give um, the backstory because this is nuts, guys. Well, many people don't know that I was in the marching band for a hot minute. I played the mellophone, which is the marching equivalent of the French horn. And Jack played the drums. And so we were in a drum and beagle corps called the Cadets. You have to kind of audition. It's like the Super Bowl of 
marching band, right? Is that how you explain it? NFL, NBA. NFL, yeah, it's like the NFL, not Super Bowl, the NFL of like the marching band. Anyways, I was a band kid, I was a band geek, I was never in a sorority. Anyways, so Jack and I had marched in 2014 and 15 together. So we've known each other for like ever and a half. We haven't seen each other since 2015. But anyways, he had come, he lives in Nashville. He had come through for a band show thing in Dayton, Ohio, and he came through Cincinnati. And then we hung out. Neither of us had any intentions of like anything really. It was just like two old friends like, hey, I'm in town. And I was like, hey, let's go hang out. And he actually DM'd my work, and my work Facebook page. And he goes, I'm so sorry. Didn't know you had two pages. Even though you had my number this whole time. Yeah, the rest is history. <laughs> and you guys weren't like you guys weren't more than friends when you knew each other years ago? Nope. Just two band kids trying to do band together. That is so crazy. So, so Jenna, um, is this the end of Jenna's dating chronicles? Oh my god. I don't know, ask him. Is now. it the end? Is it the end, Jack? You would know. I had to break that down to him. I was like, my dating life is like exposed on Clancy's. YouTube channel. So we told him he didn't have to speak this much in it. So Oh yeah, in case you guys I told him I'm like Jack just, just, has to just wave. smile and wave. Just smile and wave. Yep, that's what he's doing. They always say it happens when you least expect it. I told you that so much. I just got back from the pool and it is an Aladdin's kind of afternoon, even though, oh my gosh, this is like the latest lunch I've ever eaten. I don't know. I just got like caught up at the pool, both pools. So we've got pita bread for Zach's meal. Mine is, whoa, let's not drop this. This is like gold. This is the chicken superfood salad, but we've already discussed. This is like not a salad. I don't see one shred of lettuce. I don't know why they call it that. It's just like a bunch of like chicken, peas, squash, Quinoa, just really freaking good. And then Zach got yum. chicken steak, like a beef kind of kebab thing. And Zach, you said you would share how you've been feeling. Cause I, it's hard for me to even like describe. It's like, we're still trying to get to the bottom of exactly what it is, but what exactly has been going on? Yeah, I mean, I think it was just after my doing the Murph. Which is a workout. It was just, I was overly sore in my chest and back, which, Usually when I've done it before, I get sore. So like, it's not out of the ordinary. It's a tough workout, but it was over, like not exaggerating, like five times as sore as usual, if not more. And then usually I'm sore for two or three days and I'm sore still today. And the workout was Monday and this is Friday. So the soreness and I felt a little fatigued this week, but then it was last night. I was like extremely fatigued. My back started hurting really bad. And I know sometimes they say like when your kidneys kind of like are bad, like your lower back hurts. So I went to the doctor. And the headache was bad. Well, yeah. So I had two of their, these like alcoholic drinks at the party, which was a lot of fun. And the party, the taste, the drinks were really good. I just- Yeah guys, those drinks were amazing. Splitting headache, but yeah. The canvas drinks are very good. I was really happy Zach ended up going to the doctor. We're still waiting on the- So uh, I did like a urine sample, which they said looked overall fine. And then they took some blood. So they're gonna do that. I think that's to look at like the kidneys or something called like rambioid or whatever, psychosis or whatever. It's like when you're working out too hard or whatever, but that's like extremely rare. So I don't know if that- Some even... some guys in Neil's uh, Marine Corps got it. It can be really serious if it's not treated. But even though I'm obviously not a doctor, I've just been like online researching and like I really, in my humble opinion, think Zach is just like overexerting himself because he not only did the Murph workout, but the week before that, he did this crazy workout with Ray Street, which is with that Rooted Creative we were telling you guys about yesterday. They put on this insane workout each and every year. Zach did it last year. And just looking at the photos, because it's so cool, they take photos of everything. You can see it is nuts. Like one of Zach's friends didn't even finish. And he's really in shape. Like all of Zach's friends are pretty much in shape. Yeah, he's really in shape. He didn't even finish. And I just feel like in my humble opinion, you have just been like, you don't even like take rest days. Like I'm very big on like, I take two rest days a week. Like you just, you go crazy. I mean, I don't think I go for <laughs> You do. You're nuts. You're so nuts, sick. But no, I mean, it, the race street wouldn't have had anything to do with this. But I just think in general, you've been overexerting yourself. I just think you need to chill. Maybe I just was dehydrated or more dehydrated than I thought. Going into the Murph and that like, affected my body. 
Yeah, we're gonna get to the bottom of it. But we were actually supposed to go to Dayton tonight to visit Zach's family, and now we're not. We're just gonna chill. Got our Aladdin's very late lunch, and right now we just finished Ozark, so we are on the hunt. By the way, this is yours too. It's the pita. We are on the hunt for a new show because we finished Ozark, which guys, that last season, no. I just, all the characters were flat toward the end. It's just, I was not a fan at all. So I say we finished the last season. I watched like the first episode and a half, stopped watching, and then just came back for the last two episodes, which that's the way to do it, guys. Zach obviously caught me up. So right now we're on the hunt for a new couples show. Let me know if you have any suggestions because I'm open to all. Our movie of choice is Death on the Nile. Wait, Zach, open it up for a second for the light. Turn around. <laughs> All right, oh. Zach Scott on his balloon t-shirt. And so do I. Guys, we are matching. Zach, we were supposed to show us matching. What, what are you doing? Oh, you can see. Yeah, barely. Come here. Look at us. We're just <laughs> like a couple of goals. I got us these when I covered the balloon festival last year. Thanks, sweetie. You gonna miss this free stuff I used to get us? You hardly ever got us free stuff. <laughs> yeah, we'll let you guys know if the movie is good or not this is just like optimal viewing conditions getting under the bed and what time is it 4 54 on a friday evening turn up i woke up just in time to catch jenna filling in on the anchor desk and i'm so happy for her she's doing so good it's funny because over the last year or even two years a lot of people have asked me like what are your future plans do you plan on anchoring like why aren't you filling anchoring like isn't that your goal and like, no, it hasn't been my goal because at my station, you can like pretty much like put your name in the hat to fill an anchor. They always need fill in anchors, especially on the weekend mornings. And I haven't done that because I just like didn't want to take the opportunity away from someone who actually was building a career in news. Like it's fun. And honestly, anchoring on the weekends, it's like very, it's a very light workload. You literally just anchor a couple of shows and then leave. But it just, it would not have been right knowing I was leaving the industry and I've known for a long time. But yeah, as you can probably tell, I just woke up, still wearing my balloon shirt and Zach is still asleep. He has, he's been sleeping a lot. Like he fell asleep during that movie last night and he slept for like 10 hours the night before. He's still sleeping. We, we went to bed at like 10 p.m. So he's just been sleeping a lot. I really hope the blood results can come back or, or he just feels better. So yeah, anyway, I'm just gonna be chilling on the couch editing some of my video, opening up the blinds, letting some light in here. Another day, another trip to the pool, and I wanted to show you guys two products that I am loving. Like these are like my summer products. The first one is the Elta MD sunscreen. I love this stuff. It's pretty pricey. It's SPF 46 though. It's so precise of them. But to be honest, I saw Haley Bieber uses it. I can't, I'm ashamed of myself. I'm shit like that sounds so embarrassing to say, but I don't know. I heard she used it. And what I love so much about this is you put it on your face. I, there is like a tinted one. I get the untinted one. The tinted one, I don't know, kind of, I would feel like I'm wearing foundation or something. And I like to kind of have like a bare face at the pool. But what I love about this is you don't put it on and feel like you have that like disgusting thick white cast over your face. Like it just feels like nothing. Like I really, really like that stuff so far. And then the other is my hat. Like this has become my summer hat. It's just a random New York ball cap. I mean, even if you're not from New York, I think it's still cute to wear. I can link it below. I got it on Amazon. And these are just my two summer staples. And if you guys must know, in my bag, yes, I have, oh gosh, okay. She caught it. I have a lot of SPF 30 because, uh, you know, your girl got sun sunburned badly. I think it was last week. And as you can probably tell, my shoulder is like peeling. It's not good. It faded to tan though. I do have to say it faded to tan, but I'm honestly probably not even going to take my cover up off because I just really want this guy to heal. And then after that, it's going to be sunscreen all summer. All right, I've got my normal order from Corito, which includes chicken, of course, but Zach, for the first time, is trying a vegetarian burrito because he's about to embark on a new journey, possibly? Yeah, we're not committing to anything here <laughs> on this vlog, uh, but I've been feeling well this week, and I watched a vegetarian documentary last night, so I'm gonna try to do it for seven days. And uh, in the documentary, like, I was even convinced it was Game Changers. Like, it was crazy. Is that what it was called? Yeah. Yeah, no, it was a good documentary for anyone that has interest in watching it. Let's see his first bite if he actually likes the vegetarian. <laughs> for now, guys, I'm, I'm not committing. I'm sticking with my 
chicken. Okay, update, Zach finished his burrito. This is typical for us, he finished it and I'm still uh, digging in, but we have a, a kind of upsetting update. I mean, I just don't feel very full. He all. finished an entire burrito, it doesn't feel full, so leave a comment down below if you're a vegetarian or vegan, if you have advice for getting full. Thanks. It is a lot later, 5.22 p.m. to be precise, on this Saturday evening. Zach and I were actually supposed to go to a pool party for one of our friend's birthdays, but he's just really not feeling well. And for like Zach to cancel on plans, like I, I feel like my toe hurts and I'm like, all right, well, I'm not going. But for Zach to cancel on plans, it is, like he just really is not himself right now. And actually I just uploaded the video announcing that we're gonna be moving and traveling and all of that. and. When we filmed that, that was the first day of him not feeling well. And like, as I was editing it, I feel like I could tell in the video that like, he just did not seem like himself. So I don't know. I mean, he says he does feel improvement today though. Like we went out to get lunch at Carito and fingers crossed that he ends up, you know, getting better each day. But I did want to answer just a couple of questions. Now that everything is out in the open, the announcement that I quit my job, the announcement that we're traveling, I am getting a few questions. And I realized like I never really made it clear about my future career. Like what do I plan on doing? And for the time being, yes, I do plan on just doing YouTube full time just because obviously I am traveling. But I honestly don't plan on doing YouTube full time as a career. I just don't, I just, it's just that there's so much out there that excites me that isn't news reporting. Like just so many little things like with writing and even like freelance stuff. And just, I've even thought about PR. I don't really, I don't really know. Like I'm in a PR Facebook group for people who used to be TV news reporters, which is really interesting to read about. But I don't, I, the, the truth is like, I have no idea what I wanna do. The temporary, like what's happening now is just traveling and doing YouTube full time, fortunately. I can, um, I do make money on here obviously, and I have gotten questions from people saying, are you gonna start doing sponsorships now? And the answer is yeah, I mean, if I believe in the brand and the product, absolutely. No, I'm not gonna sell myself out, like you won't see me shilling out like a fit tea or whatever, the, like no, I, I get seriously get emails about that like all the time because I do get emails often from brands wanting to do sponsorships that I have had to decline just because of the news. And I've mentioned, I mean, you can go back, I would never be able to find it myself, but you can go back to like, over a year ago, I've talked about the fact that there's nothing wrong with sponsorships. It's how YouTubers pay the bills, and if they believe in the product, why the heck not? It's a win-win, and I even have mentioned on here, I don't mind when YouTubers do sponsorships, because for me personally, I just fast forward. It's not that hard just to be like, zoop, like it's not that big of a deal to me. So even when I wasn't doing sponsorships and I wasn't allowed, I still think sponsorships are great. And to help fund my travels, I don't plan on doing it often, like I don't want to go overboard, and it just has to be something that I truly do want to use. For example, one company that reached out, I can give you guys a little hint, that I actually really do want to work with, has to do with bed sheets, because Zach and I, our bed sheets are many, many years old, and I, you guys know about <laughs> how I've had that sweating problem, you know, with my anxiety in my sleep. Of course we wash our sheets, but like they just do not feel soft and smooth. It's kind of disgusting. So anyway, like that's an example where I'm like, wow, that really works for me. But overall, like I, I genuinely don't have a game plan when it comes to my future career, which is exciting, especially for a type A personality like myself, just to be like, we'll see where the wind takes me. Like, cool, like that's, that's so exciting. And I think it's, it's fun to like do something that's just not your norm. It's like not you, but like why not think outside the box? Why not branch out? So I'm really excited guys. And I can't thank you enough for all of the kind messages and support. Like no, like no matter what I say, it'll never show it enough. Like I don't think you have any idea how much those messages have meant to me because I also have gotten some hate comments as well. Oh yes, I have. But this is one of those instances, like normally it's like you can receive a hundred nice comments and the one hate comment will just like, kind of like override them all. This is one of those instances where your guys' messages are so kind and sweet that the hate comments like truly aren't even getting to me at all. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. Another thing I wanted to add is that my videos probably are gonna be just a little bit shorter than they have been. My old upload schedule was once a week and then my videos have been getting to like 28, 29, 30 minutes, like it's been crazy, but I just have had that opportunity because I'm only doing once a week. But now that I'm doing twice a week, my videos are probably gonna be, I don't know, closer to the 20 minute range, I'm guessing. I mean, obviously it, it all varies. Like I don't plan it, it's just what happens. But I think that'll be good and it's like good to like break it up so it's like two 20 minute shows a week instead of just like 1.30, I don't know. Once again, Wednesday, Saturday, the new upload schedule. 
<sighs> and I'm just so excited. And like the weird thing about this job though, it's gonna be, and it's not weird, it's no big deal, but my days won't be as structured, obviously, as a nine to five. For example, I'm sitting here working, filming, on a Saturday night, but like maybe on, for example, on Friday afternoon, you saw I went to the pool. So like there's give and take and it's just, I think it bothers me to not have like structure because I just honestly think I'd feel guilty like Monday and just chilling, you know what I mean? But it's also weird because it's like me doing things is getting content. Like it's, so it's just, it's, it's gonna be a lot to adjust to, which is why you guys just gotta stay tuned. This is, this is crazy. And this is just like a new era of my life that I'm like just I'm excited about and I'm just so excited to share it with you guys the ups and the downs because trust me like right now I'm up but you don't stay up like no it's gonna be like it's gonna be like a little a little wave a little dip a little it's gonna be okay but I'm just excited to share all of it with you and obviously if you're not following me on Instagram that's where I'm trying to really up my story game and just take you guys along with me on my life through the days through the darkness that made no sense okay that's my cue to go see you guys next time Bye.